Hey guys, do you ever have buyers that you are working with, whether it's in the beginning of the transaction or in the end of the transaction, they come back to you as their agent and ask for money, they ask for commission, they ask for a rebate. Uh, it's pretty common practice nowadays. Uh, there's a lot of buyers out there who have it in their mindset that, hey, you're this realtor, you're gonna make a bunch of money, so I want part of your commission back. I want you to credit me back towards my closing costs or I want you to, you know, pay for something on my behalf. And of course, you know, some of the big box companies, they don't help that process, right? Because you got a lot of companies out there who have built their whole value proposition off of giving money back to the client. But what if you're an agent who wants to keep more of their commission? How do you go about handling when a buyer asks you to give them a rebate? So uh, I've come across them many, many times and I wanted to kind of break this down for you and give you some tips and strategies on how to handle this conversation um, so that you can keep more of your commission ultimately. So the first thing I got for you guys is, number one is before you even talk to the client or have the conversation or trying to figure out a way to handle this, is you can't take it personal. That's the first thing. You gotta establish the right mindset. You can't take it personal when a client asks for commission back. Think about yourself. Have you ever been in a situation where you've asked for a discount, where you've asked for a hookup, maybe from a friend or a family member, or you've just said, hey, it doesn't hurt to ask. You know, we have to understand at the core that we can't take it personal. There's a, there are a lot of people out there who just, it's, it's human nature for them to ask for a discount. They don't mean to offend you. They may just have the mindset like, hey, it doesn't hurt to ask, and if I don't ask, I don't receive. Or maybe it's a cultural thing, or maybe it's something they learned growing up, maybe from how they were raised, that you always ask for a discount, or you never pay full price. So that doesn't mean that they're not willing to pay full price. That doesn't mean that they won't go forward but a lot of times they will just ask just to see what happens. So you can't take it personal because the minute that you take it personal, it'll get you, you know, your emotions involved and it may end up causing you to butt heads with the client. And as soon as you butt heads with the client or become confrontational, you will lose the client right off the bat. So you have to make it more of a, hey, I'm on your side. I want to help you get the best deal because at the end of the day, that's what people want is the best deal, not necessarily your commission. They just want to feel like they're getting a good deal. So you got to position yourself that, hey, I'm on your side to help you get the best deal. Now, the second thing I'm going to give to you guys, the second recommendation is you need to understand what your value is, right? Are you good at negotiating? Have you been able to help other clients save a ton of money when they're buying a home or when they transact with you? Um, do you know of deals that maybe this client doesn't have access to? Do you have really good service that you provide and you have reviews to back it up? Maybe you have a lot of connections or maybe you're really experienced or maybe you're able to advise them on different parts of the transaction that another agent uh, can't do. You see, you have to understand what your value proposition is to a client so that you can go back and defend your commission and you can tell the client, hey, this is why I cannot give you my commission because I'm able to do this or because my value comes from this part of the deal. I know for me, I have a background in finance, I have a background in construction because I've purchased and renovated many properties and I also can say that I'm a really good negotiator because I've been in a lot of battles and I've been on both sides of the transaction and I know how to use you know, that to my advantage to negotiate you know, on behalf of my clients. So when a client asks for commission back, I'm going to tell them, hey, this is why you want to go with me. This is where my value lies. My value doesn't lie in giving you a few thousand bucks back or giving you a kickback on the deal. My value lies in all of these things here and this is why you go with me and this is what other buyers have experienced or other clients have experienced when they work with me. So you have to understand your value. The last thing is that let's say you don't take it personal. Let's say you understand your value. You have to be able to practice this conversation and be able to deliver it to your client confidently, right? Like if you've never role played this with yourself or with a colleague or anything like that, or if you, you've never been in this sort of battle and you just take my advice and you try to wing it, it's not going to come off smooth. And part of you being able to articulate your value is also being able to have confidence. So when you're well rehearsed, when you know what you're talking about because you've done it a bunch of times 
and you don't flinch and you don't take it personal and you can just answer confidently and still let the client know, hey, I'm here to help you, I'm on your side, this is how I'm gonna help you and it doesn't turn into a confrontation, well that is like a lot of the battle right there. That's gonna get you to move forward uh, nine times out of 10, right? So you have to do those things. Now, a bonus here, right? There are gonna be other situations where maybe the client is not asking for money up front, but maybe you're in the middle of a deal. Maybe you're in escrow already and it's down to the finish line and the client comes up short for whatever reason. Maybe something changed with their finances. Maybe uh, you know there was an extra repair that came out. A lot of times the clients will go back and look towards their agent to kick in money to make the deal happen or close the deal. So one of the things, the tips that I wanna give you is, you know, and, and also just understanding what most agents do is most agents say, all right, you know, I wanna close the deal, something's better than nothing, I'm just gonna kick in part of my commission after they did all the work. What I challenge you to do is instead of just being the person that volunteers to kick in all their commission, figure out if there's other ways to bridge the gap and to get that money into play without you having to give up your commission. Right, like make that the last option. That doesn't mean that at the end of the day, it might be a business decision. You might just say, all right, hey, I'd rather close the deal. I'm already at the finish line. But don't just go by default and say, okay, here's my commission. Like you can go back to the lender. You can go back to the other agent on the deal. You can go to the title company and ask for a discount on their fees. Um, you can go back to the client and say, hey, like there's no other option. Like, can you go get the money from somewhere else? You know, can your parents let you borrow money? Is there a relative? Do you have any money in another savings account? Can you pull it from somewhere else? And most of the time, when you shift it from you having to kick in your commission and you say, hey, client, you gotta figure it out, or hey, listing agent, can you kick in, or title company, like there will be a solution that comes up most of the time. So, you know, I want you guys to really think about like, how do I keep more of my commissions? You gotta go through this dialogue, you gotta practice this stuff, and you also gotta have the right mindset going in. Um, so I hope some of these tips help you guys out so that you can go out there and obviously keep more of your commission and continue to grow your business. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this or need help or further coaching on this, feel free to reach out, I'd love to chat with you.